But even if you nail this, we have to learn about something with your morning coffee because your morning coffee is actually putting like chemical handcuffs on one of the most important minerals for oxygen transport in your body. Okay, so let's talk about iron for a second. Iron in your coffee. Right? And I don't always recommend that people take iron. Okay, I feel like iron is overrated as a supplement, but if you are someone that's taking an iron supplement, this is super critical. Okay, the polyphenols that are in coffee, okay, like the tannic acid, the chlorogenic acid, the really good things in coffee, these are powerful chelators. And it primarily affects non-heme iron. Okay, this is the iron that we get usually in a supplement but not from meat. The mechanism is literally a direct binding action. The polyphenols that are in coffee are like molecular handcuffs, okay? The polyphenols actually bind to the iron in your gut and they create a new like iron polyphenol complex that is too big and essentially inert and cannot pass through the iron transporters in the gut wall. This can actually have a lot of other things attached to it as well. So it can be a massive chelator once iron's attached. Okay, and the data on this is super clear. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition published a bunch of research showing that a cup of coffee with a meal can inhibit iron absorption by up to 40%, and for tea, it can be over 60%. So much of this has to do with the gut in the first place.